so in this part of this video series on DynamoDB, I am going to cover indexes. I am sure you have faced the issue of performance while reading the data from DynamoDB table. Operations are very slow. It is taking too much time to return the data, whatever you have requested for. What indexes do is that it helps in improving the performance of read operations on the database. What kind of indexes are there in DynamoDB table, how it impacts the cost because it is a fully managed service, how it is going to impact the cost, how does DynamoDB internally store the indexes, how does it maintain the storage of that, what is the read capacity unit it consumes, what is the write capacity units it consumes, all those things I am going to discuss in this video. Indexes are an integral part of any of the database. It contains subset of attributes from a table. That is, if a database table about users is having 100 fields, then indexes may have less than that 100 fields, right? It could have only two fields or three fields, or it could have all the 90 fields, keeping 10 fields aside. Table can have multiple indexes. There is no limit. Yeah, there is a limit on number of indexes in here but you can have ample number of indexes to make your read operations performing it helps in faster retrieval of the data so it is always helpful to build indexes based upon your application access patterns right so that will give you a speed booster in your read operations so whenever there is a performance gain there is a disclaimer also that you have to select those indexes very carefully otherwise it will impact the storage cost right and it might impact the performance as well because if it is not chosen carefully then it is going to impact in one way or the other specifically in DynamoDB there are two types of indexes local secondary indexes and global secondary indexes which we are going to see in the coming slides and I am going to show you a demo also over AWS DynamoDB console so that you can create DynamoDB indexes on your own you can create the table on your own before discussing indexes uh, we need to understand the difference between scan and query operations why are indexes required in DynamoDB and how DynamoDB indexes are different from other types of indexes which are available in relational databases or other non-relational databases as well. Scan. Scan is basically it reads the whole table or index. It is a very costly operation must be avoided as much as possible. So ideally if you use scan on your table then it is going to be very costly operation. For example, if I show you on the right hand side, if I have to find out the artist no one you know, right? And if I run a scan operation, then it will go through the whole table. Scan operation must be avoided as much as possible. Query while on the other hand, it can only include partition key and or sort key as well. So what does it mean that when querying the table or global secondary index, I will have to pass through the partition key for that particular table. Then only I will be able to query. Please remember that to query the GSI or table or LSI to perform a query, right? We need partition key and or sort key. Without that, you cannot query and you cannot directly query on sort key. It fetches the required data if available. If we are searching a record for the artist which is not available, then it will simply say that not available because partition key 
leads to the efficient storage of space that we have discussed in the previous video as well. Cost effective, definitely if my whole table is not scanned, I am targeting to specific partition, specific record in that, specific range in that partition. Then lesser number of read capacity units will be consumed as compared to scan operation and it must be used as much as possible. Right, so that is why you must know the difference between scan and query while performing these operations on your table or secondary indexes or indexes. So global secondary index, if we talk about, it includes partition key and sort key, which will be different from those on the base table. In case you are not aware about partition key and sort key, please watch my other video where I have covered the concept of partition key and sort key in detail. So I am assuming that you are aware that what is partition key and sort key. In DynamoDB, the table cannot exist with partition key, right? So that is why it says that partition key of global secondary index and sort key will be different from those on the base table. It is stored in a space away from base table. So global secondary index keeps its data as a separate stored space which is different from the base table storage space. It scales separately from the base table. Please make a note that global secondary indexes and its properties are different from base table whether it is scaling up or down or whether it is storage space and attribute projection is basically like in sql we say that select star or select username email so same way in dynamodb terminology we say that which of the fields we are going to project in that global secondary index you can say that if there are 100 attributes in our base table which all fields we want to keep in global secondary index because all this is going to lead to our increased cost right increased storage space whenever we are going to write into the table so a copy will be made into the gsi as well so all those things will impact our cost and other things also so attribute projection selection is also done very carefully so there are three options which includes keys only that whatever keys we have selected for gsi like partition key and sort key as well as the partition key and sort key of the base table do we want to keep those in the projection of gsi or we want to specifically mention that which all attribute out of those 100 we want to project in gsi and all whatever is there in the base table we want everything to be there in the gsi also so on the right hand side you can see that artist and song title are partition key and sort key of a table called music and we have created a gsi which is genre album title which has partition key as genre like this and album title as the sort key right so in this way here we are projecting only keys using this attribute projection and you can see that it has only four attributes one is partition key and sort key of this gsi as well as the keys of base table so this is how we can build a global secondary index on an existing table this can be created at the time of creation of a table or after we have created the table also so let me show you a demo using aws dynamodb console now